Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how I made a template to split group expenses in Google Sheets. If you've ever gone on a group vacation with people, or a trip, or even just a night out, then you know that there are a lot of different expenses where someone will buy the Uber, someone will pay for dinner, someone will pay for drinks, and sometimes it's a hassle to figure out who paid for what, who bought what, who owes what, and this spreadsheet will help you figure that out. So if you stick around to the end, you'll see the template of what we have right in front of us. To start, I already filled out the bulk of the data entry you need for this spreadsheet. Basically, in this example, we have six people, A, B, C, D, E, and F, and they went on a vacation together. As you can see, there was an Airbnb, flights, Ubers, food, a concert, and a trip to a museum. So the first thing you need to do is you need to make sure you have this payment section filled out. And for every payment, you just write a little description of what it was. So this first payment was an Uber, Bernie, the payer, the person that bought it, and the amount they paid. So $24.12. And then you do the same for all the other transactions down below. And then equally as important is this participant section off to the right. As you'll know from group trips like this, not every single transaction was for everybody in the group. For example, this first transaction, the Uber that Bernie paid for, was person A, Adam, and person B, Bernie. The other four people were not involved in it, so they should not be expected to pay for it. And as you'll see in a minute, the formula we use takes into account these checkboxes to see who should be splitting the Uber or any given transaction. And then basically the rest of the spreadsheet, this total section off to the right, will display the amount for each transaction for each person. So we can expect in this first row that Adam and Bernie should be splitting this $24.12 transaction. So it should be $12.06 accrued to each of them. At the end, up top, we will calculate the amount paid by each person then the amount accrued to each person, so how much of expenses they accounted for, and then the difference will be how much they owe to someone else or how much they are owed by the group. So with that being said, let's get started on filling out our formulas. For the first formula, we will go into cell M9 for Adam. And the formula we write here, we'll be able to drag all the way across and all the way down. So we only have to type in one formula for this entire range of cells here in cell M9. So let's type in equals and then if if and open our parentheses after that. So for our logical expression, we're going to select this first atom checkbox in cell F9 and then hit comma. So for the next section, the value if true, meaning the value if this cell is checked off, then meaning the value if this person was a participant in this given payment. So the value if true will be cell D9, which is the amount, $24.12. And then after that, we will do divided by, and we want this amount of $24.12 to be divided by the total number of participants. So to get the total number of participants, we are going to use the count if formula. And then we can open those parentheses and highlight cell F9 to K9, then a comma. And for the criteria in quotations, we will type in true, T-R-U-E, and end our quotations. And for a checkbox, a cell that is checked off will return a value of being true. So we can then close our parentheses at a comma and the value of false. So if the box is not checked off, it will just be $0 accrued to that person. We can then close our parentheses and hit enter. And you will see that for Adam, he is accruing $12.06 to this $24.12 transaction because he is one of two participants. Now real quick, before we can drag this across and down, we have to add some cell references. So let's click back into our formula and in front of the D and D9, we will add a dollar sign so that that stays in place. We will do the same thing before the F and F9 and the K and K9 and then hit enter. And then now if we drag this all the way across, you'll see that for this first transaction, $12.06 to Adam, $12.06 to Bernie, which totals 24.12, which should equal the amount here. And then if we drag all of this all the way down, 
you will then see every other cell fill out. So for example, if you go to the very bottom, David paid $180 at the museum and every single person was a participant. So six ways, that is $30 per person. And you can check that with any other row and they will all be accurate as well. One thing to note, there are times where you wouldn't be splitting everything exactly evenly, especially with food. Some people will just split everything evenly, but some people maybe ordered drinks and someone didn't order drinks. In that case, uh, let's say this food section here, they spent $178 on food and they split it evenly six ways. If you wanted to make it an uneven split, then I would just delete all the formulas in this row and manually type in the amounts for each person. So now we can move to this totals table up at the top on the right. So for Adam's amount paid in cell M4, we will start with an equal sign and a sum ifs formula. We can then open our parentheses and then drag down from cell D9 all the way to the bottom of our data in D30. As you can see, we left a few open rows in case you wanted to add some extra transactions. We will then add a comma in our formula. In the criteria range, we'll be cell B9 to B30 because we want to know the name of the person that paid for it. Then add one more comma, and we will now select Adam's name in cell M3 and hit enter. And now you can see that Adam paid $1,872.18 for the group. And if we go back into our formula, for us to be able to drag everything over, we can add dollar sign references in front of D9, D30, B9, B30, hit enter. And now we can take Adam's amount in cell M4 and drag it all the way across. And here, a good check that we can have is you see the sum amount of all these totals, 6,472. If we highlight all the amounts in the payment section, 6,472. And if we highlight everything in the big table, 6,472, so everything matches. If something didn't match, then you would know that something is wrong, our formulas are wrong, or we entered something in manually. But for now, everything looks to be good. And then the next part is a little bit easier for the amount each person accrued. All we have to do is equals sum open our parentheses, and then highlight this entire column from M9 to M30, close our parentheses, and hit enter. So you can see Adam paid 1872, he accrued 981. We can drag this over as well. And then for the amount owed to them or that they owe, it will just be equals, and then M4 minus M5, and hit enter. And you can see that Adam paid $890 more than the expenses he accounted for. So that is how much he will be owed at the end. And we can drag this all the way across. And then again, just to make sure we have everything all set, we're going to check by inputting a sum of all the amounts paid and hit enter. And then for accrued equals sum and then we will highlight all the amounts accrued, hit enter, and they are the same amount. In this check cell here, we'll just do equals U4 minus U5, and that should be zero. That means everything worked out. And that's basically it. Now you know how much everyone is owed or how much everyone owes. So for example, Adam is owed $891, whereas Bernie still has to pay $893 because he only paid $202 during the trip, but accounted for over $1,000 in expenses. And there's a few ways you can do this. You can tell certain people to send money to other people, but in my experience, the easiest and most efficient way to do all these payments is you have someone be the bank. So ideally, whoever is in charge of this spreadsheet is the bank person. Let's say it's Adam in this case. So Adam on Venmo or whatever would request this amount from Bernie, request that amount from Candace, request 687 from David, request 989 from Aaron, and then he would also pay 1901 to Frank. And after he did all that, he should have $890.99 more in his Venmo than he had before. 
And that's basically it for this group expense splitter. This is something that can be a real pain and be way more complicated than it needs to be, but I think this spreadsheet does a good job at breaking it down. I'll leave a template in the description of the video. So when you go into that, make sure to make a copy before you can edit your own. And then just a couple of notes to remember. If you do have uh, an expense where people aren't splitting it evenly necessarily, then I would get rid of the formula and enter in those amounts manually. And then also, if you have more than six people that are being split, you'll just need to add a few more rows or rather a few more columns into both the totals amount and the participants amount here. So I hope you learned something from this video. Feel free to leave a like if you did and subscribe if you haven't yet already. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.